Yeah, I mean, it's been so long since we've been to Vietnam and I think we all really missed uh, the country and the fans we have there. And, and you know, we, we interact a lot with people on the internet and uh, we know that there are many people in, in Vietnam asking us to, to come back. And we, we, we had some very, very memorable uh, visits before in Vietnam. And, and for us, it's a place we, we really love. So it's but very easy for us to, to say that we would love to go back to Vietnam. So finally, it's, it's happening. And uh, it's super exciting for us to, to be coming back. Uh, as Cor said before, um, decades ago, we had some very, very amazing concert in Vietnam. I think these concerts had laid the, the foundation for our, our success in Vietnam. And then we, we felt maybe we lost uh, the contact with, uh, with Vietnam for, for some years because we, we didn't tour in Vietnam for, for, for many years. And now finally we are, we're coming back and we're so happy to catch up with our Vietnamese fans now, finally. Absolutely, mm -hmm. but if it should stay a surprise, we can tell you everything. So uh, we can tell you that we're bringing a brand new show. It'll be something completely different from what people have seen before. And uh, we will also be playing a brand new song that is going to be released before the tour. Uh, so there will be quite a few surprises and people will get an experience that they have never had before with, with Michael Learns to Rock. And um, of course people can be assured that they will be able to sing along to some of their favorite songs from, from years back. It's been, I think, last time we played in Vietnam, maybe it was in, in 2017. We, we cannot express um, clearly, but, but uh, it's, it's, it's a, a very, very wonderful feeling to, to be in Vietnam uh, and to, to play our songs for you guys. Uh, and we can't wait to, wait to come back. It's like uh, Vietnam is a little bit different from, from the rest of Asia. And, in some way, and um, it's very exotic for us to come to Vietnam, actually, to be honest. So we are looking so much forward to seeing you guys. <laughs> yes, we, we, we try to keep up. I mean, we, we, we're a band that started before the internet and all that, so, you know, we, we just a few guys on the stage with some instruments. So we are very analog based uh, as, a, as a starting point. But of course we have been developing together with the music industry. And of course we have, everything is digitalized now. And we actually also just recently opened up an account on TikTok. So we are trying to go out and be where our fans are and meet them. Uh, on the internet and on social media and stuff like that. It's quite exciting, actually, it's fun, but also uh, very different from what we expected when we started the band. The work we have to do today is very different from the work we did when we started. And it's exciting, but also a little bit um, scaring, you know, <laughs> for old guys like us. But. We try to catch up as good as we can. So please bear with us on, on social media, but uh, we love you guys in there. We love when people go in and interact and and like our own videos and all that. We, we love it and we, we, we really follow it and we try to to see what's going on. So, so we, it's a lot of fun actually.
I mean, it, it's it's fantastic. It's amazing. I mean, uh, we 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 can see from that video that these people they just love both the guys on stage singing and the people in the audience. You you can feel that they are just having a good time, and that's what music is about connecting people and sharing moments and having a good time. And we hope to be able to take that to a next level when we come back to Vietnam.